Hello and welcome to my little bookish corner of the internet, my name is Harriet. Today, as we're coming to the end of 2021, I thought I would talk about some authors that I would really like to get to more in the new year. Some of these are authors that I have read before that I just want to read more of their works and others are ones that I haven't really tried before. And there's a mixture of different genres as well, which I think will make the new year a little bit more exciting for me. I've been reading a lot of fantasy and quite a lot of sci-fi, so it'd be nice to read some classics as well. Now, speaking of classics, there is one author that I would really like to read more of because I only read one of his works when I was a child, so I don't really remember it, and then I reread one of his very famous Christmas stories. So that would be Charles Dickens. I've got a very small collection of his books here. Um, I have actually got this old, really old hardback that I found at a book swap that's got all of his Christmas stories in there and some coloured illustrations as well. So I would really love to read this and maybe I'll dip into it in December, I'm not totally sure. But if not, it can wait until next December, I've got plenty of time. So I'd definitely like to read more of Dickens's works. I feel like his writing is very beautiful, very poetic and a lot of his stories do touch on a lot of differences between classes and money and greed and things like that. So I thought that'd be really interesting. So the ones I've got, so I've got the Christmas collection, I have also got the old Curiosity Shop. I actually really love this front cover, I think it's really pretty. I've got Great Expectations, which I don't like the front cover of, but I do like the spine. And then I've got Oliver Twist as well, which is classic. I feel like this will be the first one that I try because I read it when I was a kid at school and I don't really remember much from it. But I do know that I did enjoy it, so I want to start this one very soon. And like I say, I'm just really excited to get to more of his works. Another author that I'd really like to try, and it is mainly because of Bookstagram. I see this person's books everywhere, and people are always saying they're having a really good time with it. I actually spoke to a customer at work about this author the other day, and they said that it is worth giving them a go. Um, so that would be Sarah J Maas. The one that I've got is Throne of Glass. I found this in a charity shop for 50p. So it looks battered and it's got all sorts of stuff on the front of it. But I thought, why not give it a go? It's so cheap. And I don't know much about this author's writing. I know as this series goes on, um, things apparently get steamier and steamier and it goes less YA more into adult. But I do want to try it. I mean, it's fancy. I think there's assassins and things like that in here. So it should be really interesting. And I just want to be part of this journey that everyone seems to be going on with this author's writing. So. Yeah, it would be really cool to give her a go. And then we get onto authors that I have definitely read from them before. Um, one of them, it's not specifically this book that I want to try, but I will have to get to this at some point, even though it is kind of scary. So that would be J.R.R. Tolkien. Um, I have a copy of The Silmarillion, which I got for a pound. It's very cool looking, um, proper vintage. Now I've heard that this is quite an intense story, so that's why it's not necessarily the main one that I want to try, but I do want to give it a go and I want to read all of his short stories and things like that as well. I really enjoyed The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, which I read this year. So I definitely like to get into more of his writing and obviously I adore fantasy, high fantasy. So I feel like I am gonna enjoy everything that he's written. And he is just a brilliant, brilliant author. His writing is always very poetic and very inspiring. So yeah, even though I am frightened of this one, I will definitely be reading it at some point next year. Another author would be Philip Pullman. Now I read the His Dark Materials trilogy earlier this year and I thought it was amazing, it was brilliant. I was kind of upset that I hadn't read it before. And then I did actually get this as a mystery book. So it came in a mystery bundle and it is, I believe, a prequel to the trilogy. So this is volume one, La Belle Sauvage, and I have got volume two as well. I think he's writing the third one, right? I think it's gonna be another trilogy. The only reason I haven't picked this up yet is because it is so big and I was obviously reading the A Song of Ice and Fire series. So I think next year I can really dedicate myself to this author's writing. It's very accessible, easy to read, while also being very, again, poetic and beautiful and kind of like um, almost a magical realism aspect to it, very fantastical. And he has got quite a few books that I can try, but I will be starting with this kind of prequel trilogy first, seeing how I get on and then I can try more by him. Same goes for Neil Gaiman. Now I've only read these two, so Stardust and Coraline. I have actually got another book, it's on my Kindle, but I can't remember what it's called. It's got like an ocean on the front. I'll leave the name here so you can see what one it is. That is on my Kindle, so I will be starting that really soon. I think it was 99p, or it might have been free with Kindle Unlimited. I'm not sure. But both of these books blew me away. They really exceeded my expectations. Again, the writing is very accessible. It's also very funny and very quirky. 
and just the storylines are really astounding. They're something that I really enjoy. So I feel like I'm going to enjoy most of his books. If you tried anything by this author, let me know what your favourite book by him is. And then this next author, I have literally only read this one book, but it ended up being one of my favourite reads of the whole year. So that is Aldous Huxley. I read Brave New World and I thought it was incredible. I thought it was such an imaginative and also deeply scary novel because it really hit home. And I thought it was written again, super accessibly, something that's very easy to read. Unlike 1984, which this always gets compared to, I found that by George Orwell very hard to read. And I don't think that everyone would get on with it. Whereas I feel like Huxley's writing is a lot easier to get through. So I do want to try more by this author. I know there is a follow up to this called Brave New World Revisited. I want to try that. I think it compares this book to modern day society and the differences or the very strong similarities to our current day society. So yeah, definitely a thinker. Huxley is very good at making you think about current events that are in the world and comparing his books to now. But yeah, I definitely want to try more by him. And the last author should be absolutely no surprise, um, that is Ursula Le Guin. I've read quite a lot of her books now, but I definitely have not read all of them. So this is one of them. Uh, these are the first three stories in the Hainish cycle. So you've got Rakanan's World, Planet of Exile and City of Illusions. Now, I've spoken about this before. This series you don't have to read in a certain order. So I've read a couple of the books that are in this series already, but I definitely want to try these. And then she's got books that are more fantastical that I haven't read yet. She's got other sci-fi books. There's lots of non-fiction as well and books that are based on her delving into literary fiction, things like that, and her thoughts on it and how her life has been as an author and a writer. So yeah, she's my favourite author. So obviously I want to try more by her. So definitely next year I'm going to focus in a lot on that. I've added loads of the books that I don't have by her um, on my Amazon wish list for Christmas so that my family can buy off there and everything. But yeah. I just love her writing so much and it's really got me into sci-fi as well which is amazing. So yeah those are the main authors that I'd really like to try in 2022. Not a lot of these will have new books coming out but that's fine with me because I don't really keep up to date with that stuff anyway. Let me know if there's any authors that you definitely want to try in the new year or if there's any genres that you'd be interested in trying that you haven't really delved into before. But that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!